I'm so sleep deprived, guys. Help me. <laughs> I cannot even look at him. He has worked so hard for this. What is up? Happy Thursday and welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all doing well and having yourselves a good week. Another day, another vlog. Am I right, ladies? I am just making Nick and I a little iced latte to go because we're going to leave Miss Mabel here. We're trying to get into the habit of leaving her, even for just like half an hour out of the day, so she doesn't develop like separation anxiety. So we're gonna take ourselves on a little walk, which will be lovely. We actually have missed our morning walks so much. Obviously she can't go out at the moment until she gets her second vaccination, which is next week. So I've been kind of housebound and I'm getting cabin fever. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Ella. I am 26 and I live in Adelaide. My husband and I just moved into our first house that we've been building for the last year and a half. Oh, nice. I. Pardon me. But only because it was she only opened one. Oh. <laughs> okay. I work part time as a travel agent and part time for myself doing my social media. It's really more like a full time thing <laughs> these days. Um, but I do also have a part time job like regular job working as a travel agent, which I love. And yeah, it's a fun time around here. I do a lot of vlogs, lifestyle content, budgeting and personal finance videos as well. Um, so if you enjoy that kind of content, definitely subscribe. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it because it really helps my channel out. I really appreciate it. Um, and thanks for all the love on the content recently, guys, with all the moving vlogs and the Mabel content. It's just been such a fun time. Truly out here living our best lives. It's a lot though, I will say having a puppy is a lot. It's been a big adjustment. We're definitely very lucky in that we can both work from home. So between the two of us, we've been able to balance it all and get her into like a good routine and really figure out like her natural schedule when she goes wee poop when she wants to hit sleep and it's good that they do sleep so much i just cannot wait for her to get her vaccination so we can just like leave the house freely we actually have puppy classes our first puppy class tonight which will be fun um get some of that energy out She's really going through it with her biting at the moment. She's just like teething so much. She biting you. That's okay. Let's see, move. I'm oh. trying not to um, react. React? Oh, sorry. But it's kind of hard when, like, when she bites you Which, first. Oh, those teeth. Your first thing seems to go, fuck. <laughs> the battle wounds. My whole hands are just like teeth yeah. marks. I was just saying how we're kind of um, get her used to being left alone. It's really lucky in the sense that we both. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're really lucky in the sense that we can both work from home and like kind of balance it between the two of us. But we also are very um, aware that we don't want her to get used to us being here all the time. So we're trying to leave her in little doses. I will say, on the few times that we've left her alone, every time we come back, she's been really good. She's like fast asleep. She also was really good in her crate at night. Last night, she slept the whole night through without any fuss. She's pretty good. She's very good. She's been very good for her training as well. We've been working on her recall, her sitting. She's like a whiz at sitting. She's almost nailed down as well. She's just the best. So for a week and a half of being here, like she's an angel. And now she's having a big drink with her big ears. <laughs> it's the ears for me. It's the ears for me. You match the floors, doll. Okay, Missy Moo, on your bed. I'll grab your coffee. Missy Moo, on your bed. 
Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. our walk I've just been sitting here doing some invoicing and emails I've written myself a to-do list for today it is almost 3 30 and we're we're getting there tracking along I just called James Lane because our tv unit was meant to arrive like a couple weeks ago and we haven't heard anything so they're chasing that up fingers crossed it's somewhere <laughs> you guys sorry who been and mopped this morning I think I mentioned in my last vlog that our landscaping is still being done it was actually meant to be finished last week and it wasn't. I guess it's kind of like weather dependent, so I kind of understand, um, but it's just a little bit frustrating. It was held off or like pushed back because something to do with the water meter, which actually turns out isn't a problem to begin with. So it should never have been delayed. Now they're coming back, I think either tomorrow or Monday, depending on the weather. Um, but it's just been like nonstop raining. So it's not much we can really do about it. Originally they were gonna push back our handover day till after the landscaping was all done. Could you imagine? We still wouldn't even be in here if that was the case, like a month later. Oh my God, we've already been here nearly a month. Wow, time flies. So thank God for that. Thank God we didn't wait for that. Um, but yeah, it's just been a bit of a challenge having a new dog and obviously we kind of brought this on ourselves. but to be fair, we thought that the garden would be done by the time she arrived. We're having artificial grass. So they've laid like the gravel layer that the grass goes on top of and it's just, it gets everywhere. <laughs> There's just no two ways around it. Mabel started digging it up. Oh, it's an issue. So every day I'm just constantly hoovering like multiple times a day trying to get rid of this freaking gravel. Um, and then the gravel also makes a little like gray paw prints everywhere. So it's been a time, but it's all well and good. I'm sure we'll get there in the end and I cannot wait for our house to finally be done. We also have a post box finally, which is exciting. So we can actually get mail or like the postman knows where to deliver our mail. <coughs> We're getting there. I need to tidy up this room. Oh my gosh, it's such a mess. We didn't really unpack fully from, <laughs> hello, just me from my bed. We didn't really unpack from the long weekend. So we need to do that. Tidy it up a little bit around here. Uh, we also have our curtains being installed next week, which is super exciting. So I want to like clear everything off and make the bedroom complete, ready for the arrival of our curtains. I'm really hoping that they look good. I actually have no idea, but I guess we'll find out. I think I told you guys we're doing like floor to ceiling blackout curtains with a sheer across as well. I think it will look really good. I'm excited. So the house is slowly coming together. I feel like we've been a little bit distracted with Miss Mabel, but we're slow. I can't speak. We're slowly starting to get this. Oh my God. Slowly starting to get to things. Mabel's out there with Nick at the moment because he's working from home. I find that she works, not works. She sleeps a lot better while it's just one of us out there. Otherwise she just like gets too excited and like overwhelmed and doesn't really settle for ages. So I've come and retreated to the bedroom to do some invoicing and emails and stuff. But I'm going to tidy up this room, get it in sh ship, ship, shape. What am I trying to say? Tip top shape, <laughs> ship shop shape, tip top shape. Okay, I need to stop dogging. I'm so sleep deprived, guys. Help me. Good morning you guys, happy Friday. It is eight o'clock, I'm just about to head off into office, made myself a cup of coffee to go, I've just had breakfast, quickly filmed some Instagram stories for today. And I'm gonna head in. Um, I'm working nine to five as per usual. Wednesdays I've been working from home and then Monday and Fridays I've been working in office, which has been really nice. Monday was a public holiday, so um, I didn't go in obviously. And then Wednesday I worked from here, but heading into office, it's been like a whole week. So I'm excited to see my team. So much work to do. Um, so it'll be good to catch up and like really be able to laser focus. Nick's just gone into the city for like half an hour. He has a rehearsal for his admission on Monday, which is really exciting. So he's finally being admitted as a full fledged lawyer. Um, and they have to do some like little rehearsal ceremony or something. So he's got that this morning and then he's going to come home. So Miss Mabel will only be by herself for like an hour maybe. Um, she's just gone to sleep. She's taken herself off into her crate like the little angel she is. And yeah, I'm excited. 
but I have to go. So I'm going to put my shoes on, head out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. And we don't have work tomorrow, baby. I know it's so exciting. Sit. Yes, good girl. Down. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Is that the cutest puppy you've ever seen in your life? Is that the cutest little puppy you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> it's the socks and dogs for me. <laughs> Is this dad life? <laughs> Are you embarrassed? Like I'd be embarrassed. Like <laughs> Look at her face, she's just so embarrassed. It's just in my outside shoes. <laughs> she's telling you not to make fun of me. Good girl, Mabel Moo. Good girl. Mabel Moo. Do you like belly rubs? Oh, she loves oh, belly rubs. Oh, do we like belly rubs? Hello, good morning. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. It's actually such a nice day for the first time, like all week. It's been non stop raining, so we're making the most of the sunshine. We're going to go for a walk leave Miss Mabel here. We've just been playing with her all morning. She should hopefully sleep most of the time that we're out, do you think? I think so, yeah. She's, I think she's pretty tired. She's pretty tired. We're gonna run a few errands. We're gonna go to the tip because we have so much recycling from when we moved in. It's just been sitting in our garage. We've already done one tip run. We need to do a second one just to like get rid of the last of the stuff. What else do we need to do today? Clean? Clean. Clean the floors, bathrooms, kitchen, just like tidy everything up. We have the people coming to our curtains on Tuesday. Tomorrow, we both have the day off because Nick's being admitted as a lawyer. How exciting. Yeah. So he has the ceremony tomorrow morning. We're going to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, guys. I'm going to the Supreme Court. <laughs> so that'll be fun. We're going to go celebrate tomorrow. I swap my days, like my shifts at work. Normally, I work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I'm going to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm also working Saturday as well. So it's going to be a big week. Also, have some visitors coming which would be really exciting oh friends <laughs> so it's gonna be a big week we just need to like prep and kind of get get ready for the it's week a reset day, I think. it's a sunday reset kind of day we had yesterday was the most relaxed sunday oh my god we had a nap on the bed with mabel for i reckon two hours for three hours. literally it was like bliss it was the exact kind of day that we needed we've both just been non-stop every single weekend since we moved into this place we've had something on every single day so we've really had time to like chill out, gather ourselves. Um, so yesterday was, yeah, a no bones day. We just spent the whole day just relaxing at home, watching Ultimatum, the new season of Ultimatum, um, the queer version, which is so intense. I think we have two episodes left. And oh my God, the drama, the drama. I think the queer version as well adds like a really interesting dynamic because they're all kind of dating each other. If you haven't watched The Older Maiden before, I think this is the second season. We watched the first season last year and it's basically, it's like the most toxic show ever, but it's so entertaining to watch. Basically a bunch of couples come in, I think there's like five or six different ones. And one of the people in the couple has presented an older maiden to their partner. It's either that they get engaged at the end of the experience or they break up. And they do like a little partner swap. It's so toxic and it's just like the worst show, but it's so entertaining to watch. And I feel like the queer version of that adds like a nice different dynamic because they're all kind of dating each other rather than being like heterosexual straight relationship where it's just like the boys and the girls, if that makes sense. So yeah, we binge watched that pretty much all day yesterday. Watched the cricket because the ashes have started, my friends. Goodbye to my husband for the next six weeks. Okay, this is the current state of our carriage. Just boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. <laughs>
good morning you guys happy monday it is not even eight o'clock and i'm already up and at it fully dressed ready to go because today is a very exciting day it is the day that nick gets admitted as a lawyer i honestly could not be more proud i know i look really distracted right now that's because missy moves down here <laughs> she's going crazy are you teething you're crazy ah! air jail yeah, I could not be more proud of him. He has worked so hard for this. A lot of sleepless nights and grinding and working really hard to get his studying done. So I'm very, very proud of him. I've had a few people ask why he's only being admitted now and not like when he finished his study, but he didn't do his, what's that? <laughs> He didn't do his college of law straight after uni because he wasn't sure that he actually even wanted to be a lawyer. He did do a double degree in law and media, but he wasn't sure that he actually wanted to be a practicing lawyer. Obviously things have changed and now with his job, um, like he needs it. So a very exciting day for us all. He didn't get a proper graduation ceremony because of COVID. So this is kind of in lieu of that. And um, I do have a sneaky little surprise for him, just a little gift. Well. Kind of a big gift to be honest but i'm gonna try and go out for like lunch or dinner if missy moo will allow us to you were actually crazy we took her to family dinner last night and my parents have a cocker spaniel lily she is obsessed i think this was like their third time meeting so they've kind of like warmed up to each other well she's mabel's warmed up to lily lily hasn't really warmed up to mabel just yet lily is like 14 years old so she's an older dog and um you know she's very tolerant of her i think she understands that she's a puppy she doesn't understand that she's old though <laughs> so it's very one-sided love at the moment but i'm sure they'll get there in the end so yeah a very exciting day in the mcgraith household i'm just yeah i know it's pretty exciting isn't it <gasps> here he is oh look at you you look hey, so mabel. good so handsome hey mabel I think Mabel wants a piece of this tie. Look at you, that looks so nice, babe. Thank you. You look very handsome. I'm, I'm not really used to wearing a tie. <laughs> Let's get a close-up of those socks. Me and Mabel were just saying how proud of you we are. Oh, how stunning does my wife look? Stop. <laughs> this is a big day. <laughs> are you nervous? Nah, I don't have to do anything. You do, you have to say your thing and then like, you're in the Supreme Court. Yeah. How scary, I'm scared. I'm, all, I'm scared for Briggy. For Briggy, yeah, I don't think I mentioned, but our friend Bridget is admitting. admitting moving my admissions. She's moving his admissions. I'm excited. Yeah, um, the road. No week though. You no week. week. I would have loved to see her in a week. Do you reckon I've done this tie okay? Yeah, it looks good to me. Sweet. Do you want to do it again? I think it's good. I think it looks good. She's about getting it so it's like covers my top button. Yeah. Missy. <laughs> On our way! <laughs> We're going to pick up my parents because they're coming. Um, your parents would come, I feel like I should preface this, but they're yeah, in Europe. They're in Europe, yeah. So my parents are coming in. They're <laughs> subbing in as the parents for today. It's not the nicest weather, I'll be honest. Oh. So the good news is we've got a free swimming pool in the back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which Mabel loves. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. It was a bit nerve wracking. You have to say a lot, like more than I expected. It's a mouthful. It's four lines. Four lines. It's like a natural dress rehearsal. A performance, like a oh, full well, show. Well, technically it's a sitting of the court. It was very cool. That's probably my first and last time ever going to court and I thoroughly enjoyed my experience. <laughs> we all did, like mum and dad were like, this is cool. Yeah. It was really cool. What about when they said, all stand. All rise. That's what they say, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. Yeah, I forgot to tell you about that part. <laughs> yeah. My bad. I was like, oh. And that people were bowing to the judge? Yeah, you have to. I didn't bow. That's the I'll judge. Be I had to bow to him three times. Anyway, we just dropped Mabel Moo at my parents' house oh, for a little play day with Lily. Baby. She was very sooky because we left her for two and a half, three hours. I know. How could we? So we dropped her off so she can have a play with mum and dad. And now we're coming out for lunch to celebrate. Mum and dad's big day out. <laughs> Let's do it. Man. 
We just finished up lunch. We went down to the marina in Glenelg and went to, what's it called? What's the place called? The Wharf. That's the one. The Wharf. Lovely food. Lovely wharf. food. What'd you get? I had a porterhouse steak. Yep. And a beer. That was and the best. I had a glass of Pinot Gris and the beef ragu gnocchi. It was so good. I've got leftovers, so that'll keep me going for the rest of the day. And just had a little wander around. It's turned out to be such a beautiful day outside. Oh, I don't know where this stunning. weather's come from, but I love stunning. it. Now we are doing a little pit stop to pick up the little something something I got Nick for his admission to In 400 meters. He has no idea where we're going. Road. But you will when we get there. I, it's like I, a pretty generic shop. I, I have no idea. Where but I don't think you'll know what it is. I, I don't know where we're going. Though, so. <laughs> Babe, we're like right in our area. Yeah, but you said you said it's immediately right. Yeah, after turn left onto Stead Road. Yeah, we turn left and then and then no, we turn left and then we go onto Marion Road and then right. Oh. <laughs> I was like, it's packed into the stairs, it's suburbs. <laughs> so you mean left and then left on the left Marion Left and road. then right. Oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> Do you know where it is now? Well, no, I know like the complex, I still don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I was like, what is in there? What is in there? I'm not very good with directions, guys. I'm not. I was going to like zip across, cut people off to go into the right lane, darling. <laughs> But what's there? That's just houses. There's nothing there. I know, that's why I couldn't work out what it was. Do I have to go into Office Works? Yeah. Why is everyone in Adelaide at Office Works? <laughs> See, I still, I, you got me that you went to Office I have no idea what you got me. But thank you. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Chat to your friends. Go on. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just gonna go on my phone. Keep your eyes closed. Open. <laughs> you got me an Apple Watch? <laughs> You're literally saying this morning in the cafe, oh, don't need an Apple Watch. I, I, said, I don't know if I'd wear one, but I definitely will. You would, you've barely worn that in weeks. Darling, that's, that's, it's just little. <laughs> it is little. In size. It's too nice. <laughs> what do you think of I had no idea. No, no, but watch us so nice. Is it the same as yours? Yeah, but black. Darling, that's too generous. No, it's not, babe. Oh, yeah. You deserve it. This is a big occasion. Yeah, but darling, that's so generous. Wow, nice Apple Watch. Thanks. My wife got it. <laughs> okay, I'm getting so spoiled. Do you reckon it's from work? Yeah, it's flowers. Aww. And beers. Happy admission day. That's actually so cute. Oh. That's so sweet. Is it from when? There's a card. Yeah. To Nick, congratulations. What an achievement. We know you're going to be a brilliant lawyer and we're lucky to call you our colleague. Oh. That's so nice. Are you okay, sis? You just Looking at yourself. Are you just looking at yourself? Are you okay? <laughs> what is going on? Babe, she's just staring at herself. That is actually so sweet. That's, I feel so overwhelmed. Not just by this, but by everyone's been so nice to me today. You deserve it, babe. These beers, beers inside are good too. That is actually so sweet. I know.